the power of masks. So many of the effects that we see today utilize this powerful tool. A mask at its basis is a way to hide a particular area of a layer. You can create a mask by using either the pen or shape tool, and with your layer selected, you draw out the area that you either want to be highlighted or hidden, with the layer below being visible. Here are six different ways you can use masks to create effects. The under the car push-up. You might have seen this effect before. Essentially, you take three different shots. One shot of you in the street doing a push-up, one shot of the car going by, and then you animate the mask as the car drives over you. Be very careful when you set up this shot not to allow too much shadow from the car over your body. This makes it very difficult. The Zack King ping pong to egg effect. In this shot, you're going to bounce a ping pong ball off a frying pan, pour an egg into a piping hot pan, mask out the area of the ping pong while masking in the area of the egg. Cloning. This effect is easy if you set up all your shots on a tripod. If you go one step further and interact, and set up a stand in the middle, where your contact point is in just about the same spot with both shots. Mask out the area where the stand is in place, and you should be able to get a good shot of the two clones interacting. Cinematic Transitions. This effect can be used with any hard edge in your shot, as long as it's panning across the scene. wormhole effect. This is a little bit more complex, but you're essentially going to be masking out the area where your hand ends and where your hand begins on the other side. You're then going to mask out two circular areas for wormholes and put effects to make it look a little bit warped inside. Wizard effects. The really basic mask out techniques that utilize quick cuts or a fade out of the mask. And for the wizard beer, well you get the picture. That's it. Now get practicing and start creating your own editing magic. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more good stuff coming. And if you want me to cover anything more in depth, uh, just let me know down in the comments. I'll make sure to break down whatever it is in another tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Peace.